Hey viewers, today we are up with the topic making wireless smart TV. Trust me, it's way easy than it sounds. Just go through the video properly and boom, you have turned your dumb old television screen into a very smart one. So here we go. All you would be needing is just a Raspberry Pi. Now what we will be doing with Raspberry Pi is that we will install OSMC OS in it. Now what this OSMC OS is that it's basically a Linux based operating system for Raspberry Pi. It has a bit of advantage over other OS that runs in a Raspberry Pi and that is it has a built in Kodi in it. Now what Kodi is that it's a media center. It's an open source media center which has add-ons in it. Like if you want to stream some online video on your smart TV via your mobile. So here the Kodi works. What Kodi does is it creates a local server. So if you want to stream the video, so it connects your phone to the Raspberry Pi and the Raspberry Pi is connected to the screen which is television screen. So this is how Kodi will help you to control your television screen via your phone. Now in your phone you will have to get a UPnP app. Now that stands for Universal Plug and Play. Now that was basically all of it. Now let me make it more clear with an example. Suppose you want to watch a video in YouTube on your TV. So what you will do is you will find an add-on of YouTube in Kodi that is the media center. Now after you add YouTube in your add-on list, what you have to do is you have to turn on the hotspot of your, your phone and then connect Raspberry Pi to it. Now here the Kodi creates a local server which can be accessed through the UPnP app. You just have to open the app on your phone and search the video in YouTube in that very app. You click on play and that's it, the video plays whose link has been mentioned in the description. Now you can also access files from any external storage devices. Like for example, if you want to access some files from your pen drive say, and display it on the big screen. So what you will have to do is just connect your pen drive with a Raspberry Pi and then again with the help of the UPnP app, you will get an option to open those media files which will be then displayed in the big screen. So that's how you will do it. All the things have been done in the video. So please go through it and make it more clear to yourself. Now the Raspberry Pi we have used is the Raspberry Pi 3 because it has an inbuilt Wi-Fi in it. So if you use any other Raspberry Pi, say Raspberry Pi 0, it won't have an inbuilt Wi-Fi. You can use a Wi-Fi module for that and then do all these but uh, built-in Wi-Fi it's more easy so we have used Raspberry Pi 3. Download the OSMC image from the official website and flash it on your SD card using Eacher software. Now we will configure the Kodi and OS OSMC. So connect the TV screen with Pi using HDMI cable and wait till it gets installed. Also connect mouse to your Pi for further configuration. Connect Pi to a Wi-Fi and note the IP address. Go to look and feel and select the classic display and there you go you get the Kodi the multimedia server. Now as stated before in the example we have connected a pen drive in Pi 
and you can see these are the files we have in it. Now in, for installing the add-ons like YouTube as I had mentioned before and other add-ons like Netflix, Spotify, Hotstar and many others like that, follow these steps and observe them very closely. Now this step will allow you to access files using UPnP app, so watch them. Install the Bubble UPnP app from the Play Store whose link has been mentioned in the description. Open the UPnP app on your phone and connect it to the local server available and that's it. Now what you can also do is control the Kodi without the app by using web interface. So the required settings has been shown, follow them if you want. Fuck her in the best. 